The Daily Purge. Excuse me, no walking and no wandering today. It's pouring down rain outside. But I wanted to get this one out. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot going on out there and there's a lot that you know, we try to focus on to make things right. And everyone in my, in my friends, uh, circle of friends are tolerant, loving people that you know, I just really, really appreciate. So I want to let, let you know that first of all, that I really appreciate you. Appreciate you for being here. Appreciate you for supporting. Appreciate you for, for the person that you are and uh, sending you much love. You know, there's, hey, Sean, how you doing, brother? Um, you know, there's, there's, um, I was, you know, I, I do master classes and I listen to training and I'm, I'm always educating myself. And yesterday I heard this statement. <clears throat> the only thing that's standing between you and success, the only thing that's standing between you and the life that you want, the only thing that's standing between you and all of the changes you want to see is time. I mean, doesn't that make it simple, right? It's time. Question is, how are you going to spend that time? Are you going to spend the time constructively? Are you going to go against everything that you believe because of your opinion? Are you going to go against everything that you think is right because you're mad? You know, I mean, these, these are the questions that I ask myself. Like, you know, I get up every day and it's, it's a struggle not to look at the feed and the videos and all of the things that are going on in the world. And it's, it's not because I want to ignore it. It's because it's affecting my world. I mean, it, 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 I get it and I'm in a bad mood. And what does that do for me? What does it do for me? What does it do for my clients? What does it do for my friends, my business partners when I'm in a bad mood because of what's going on in the world? in the world out there that I can't control. What's, what's, what's it going to do to my, my business? What's it going to do to my time, right? What am I, how am I spending my time to get to where I want to get? Am I spending my time wisely? Am I actually doing things that are going to lead me to the next, you know, the next path? Hey, Jacob, how you doing, my brother? And so if, if you know the only thing standing between you and success, the only thing standing between you and abundance, the only thing standing between you and the relationship that you thrive for is time then wouldn't you be automatically focused on using that time wisely? And a lot of people would say to me right there, like, Steve, yeah, I get it, but I don't know what to do to get to where I want to go. Well, to get to where you want to go, guess what you need? And you can ask any military person this when you guess any, anyone in any organized uh, organization or professional first responder or whatever, you need a plan. You need a plan. Simple as that. Colonel Llewellyn, how are you doing, sir? And so if, if we look at our lives, like we would look at anything else, like any business, we got to take into account that you're here, you want to get here, in between is time. That's the only thing holding you back. So how are we going to spend that time? How are we going to plan that time? How are we going to allocate that time? Right? Are we going to give time to our business, to our family, to everyone, just to business, just to family? How, what do you think is right? I mean, it's hard in our lives. It's hard in our lives. You know, we want to see our kids thrive. We want to spend as much time as possible with our kids. But we also have to thrive so that they can thrive later. So without a plan, you're not going to get there. It's as simple as that. You're going to get somewhere. But if you're moving forward fast and you don't know where you're going, you might be going in the wrong direction. So if you don't have a plan, how are you going to get there? I mean, my highest regard for anything that I do is always the planning stage. How am I going to get... I'm not perfect. That's for damn sure. I am way far from perfect. Ask Lane. <laughs> you know, my partner, my, my business partner. But... I'm smart enough to put people in my life that will help me plan. I'm smart enough to put people in my life that I can delegate things to that I don't like and they can delegate things to me that they don't like that I'm good at and we can get there together. I've never not had a partner, a business partner. Never. Never not had a business partner. Never. Not once. And, that, and that's because I know what I like and what I'm good at and I know what the business partners are, are, what they like and what they're good at and we use that, hey Manu, and we use that to our advantage so we can get to where we want to go quicker and we get to where we want to go more efficiently and effectively and with impact in our lives. So think about that. The only thing between you and your success is time. It's time. It's not investment. It's not, you know, the way you feel. It's none of that. You can control all of that. You know, I always like to say being poor is a mindset. Being broke is a, is a temporary situation. The plan to put one foot in front of the other is the direction I want to go. Olga, no other way. You have to put one foot in front of the other. Otherwise, you're staying. We used to say in the army, you, you know, that guy so slow, he's got three speeds, slow, stop, and reverse, right? But to do that, Olga, um, you do need a plan. So this is what I'm going to give you a real simple plan. What is it that you want to achieve in the next, in the next year, three years, five years, ten years, fifty years, whatever it is? Exactly, Stan. Look at that, Colonel Llewellyn, the man that led me in the army, telling it like it is. So start with a, with the end in mind. Real simple. Start with the end in mind and reverse engineer how you want to get there. Hey, Stefana. Grüß dich.
And let's give you a simple example for business. Real, real, real simple example for business. Let's say you may want to make 100,000 this, 120,000 this year, right? For in the next 12 months, you want to make 100, 120,000. That's ten thousand dollars a month. What's your product cost? What's your service cost? If your service costs five thousand dollars a month, that's two clients a month for 12 months. Guess what? You got your 120. So you got two clients a month. Hey, how you can get two clients a month? That sounds easy, doesn't it? Well, it could be very hard. So how many people do you have to call, right? to get those two clients? How many appointments do you have to take to get those two clients, right? How many times, how much time does it take you to close that, that sale and start a relationship with those people? Let's say for instance, you need to call 100 people to close two sales. Well, you better get on the phone there and start calling 100 people. And here we go, we're talking about time again. If I know that in one month, I have to call 100 people, guess what I'm gonna do in the first two days of that month? I'm gonna call those 100 people. Why? Because statistically speaking, I know that's gonna put me closer to my goal. And then I can focus on what? I can focus on adding value, elevating others, investing in relational capital, living by hit, being the CEO, CEO of my own life enterprise, and ensuring that my family and myself have quality of life, QOL. Quality of life is the most important thing that we have. We call it what, you know, you can describe it as you wish. Quality of life means something different to everyone. But for me, it means integration across all areas of life, of body, of mind, of relationships, and business. Hey, Pierre. Hey, Don. So I know if my body's squared away, my mind's squared away, my relationships are squared away, my business is squared away, I'm going to be a happy camper. Who doesn't want to be a happy camper? But I'm not going to be a happy camper if I only got three of the four, right? Think about it. You want to be even, body, mind, relationships, and business. You want to keep it even, and an even keel like this. As soon as one drops, you're going to become frustrated. Let's say, for instance, you gain weight and you're sick of it. What happens? You get brash and loud and angry. You can see that. If you wanna get really deep, look up the six essential human needs and you're gonna see everyone in front of you, you can solve their problems with one of those six things. Wow, how crazy is that? How crazy is that? Knowing that every problem on the planet, down to its core, can be served and solved by one of the six essential human needs. Because in the end, we are all human. I don't care where you are, where you're from, color, creed, race, religion, gender. I don't care. I don't care what it is. We all have needs. And there's six essential needs. Some are emotional, some are existential. And when you know what those six essential human needs are, one of them is love and connection, right? One of them is certainty. One of them is, is uh, variety. You know, you don't want to do the same thing every day. You go crazy. Hey, Olga, okay, yeah. So, you know, and then one, one of them is contribution. I mean, it's just, everyone wants to feel like they're giving back. They were there, I don't want to say giving back because that's like assuming that you took something. So I heard that last night. Um, it's, it's giving back or giving forward or passing it forward or paying it forward or whatever it is. Everyone wants to feel they're doing something bigger than themselves. You know, that's why in the military, we always talked about that. Like, man, this is a mission bigger than me. And this is why soldiers are so disciplined because they know that every step that they take, everything that they do, and not just soldiers, Marines, Airmen, Air Force, Coast Guard, Boy Scouts, whatever, Girl Scouts, is because they know every step they take is leading toward that massive goal of integrity for this bigger picture, for the bigger thing in life. And for some people now, when they get out of the military, it's God, it's Allah, it's the universe, it's spirits, it's ghosts, whatever it is, that you have something bigger than you. So for me, to break it down, one, look up the six essential human needs. Two, have a goal for your life your body, your mind, and your business. Body, mind, relationships, and business. Have a goal for each of those. Body, I wanna be in my best shape I wanna be in one year. Mind, I wanna be spiritual and learn every, every single day. I wanna read about God or whatever every single day. Relationships, I wanna ensure that I schedule time with my queen or my king. I wanna make sure I schedule time with my kids so I don't let time run away from me because time is the only thing standing between me and not what you want. Man, it's such a simple concept. But we get, the, oh, look at that. Oh, look, shiny object. Oh, look, the news. Oh, my goodness, there, this, that, 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 that. Next thing you know, you're running around like a chicken with its head cut off. And you know how long they last, right? They always burn out really quick. And then you want to look at your business. And your business is real simple. You set a goal for where you want to go. You reverse engineer it. Break down how many you, you, you need to sell or you need to, you know, get out there. Break down how many, how many appointments you need to have for that. Break down how many calls you need to have for that. And then you just get on the phone and start calling. Get it done as soon as possible. So statistics are on your side. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. Look, love and light to you guys. I really appreciate you guys following me and checking me out and watching the videos. Um, if I have just that much impact in your life, my job is done. And I revel in that. I do. Okay, everybody. Love you guys. 
have a fantastic one. It's as fantastic as possible. Be safe out there. And remember, it really is, in the end, all about quality of life. See you tomorrow.